Well, an even longer distance race this time, then it's the Florence Nightingale Chase. This is a grade three, and it's four miles and three furlongs. Top one is Joala Scarlet, Doug Warren, Meserat, Obi Wan, Nerio, Ghost Zappa, Pray for Another Day, Joshua Sutherland, Right Stuff, Obi Wan, Run Free, Leon Van Rinsburg, Rustic Rain, Alex Cherry, Tricks Up, Triv, Paul Road, Zell Stupo, Darren Thompson, Black Sand Fading, Molly at Surfer, BRM, James Follis, Let Your Mind, Martin Leadham, Northern Shore, Jim Murray, and presenting Jane, Ghost Zappa. So, 14 of them then. Presumably most of these are earmarked for the National later on. One or two ran in it last year. And they come down towards the first. It's the John Morgan pair that land in the lead. Nerio and presenting Jan. And Northern Shore's gone. So must have been in the, in the pack there. I didn't notice that one. So Northern Shore has unshipped the pilot at the very first fence. And Nerio it is on the inside. And John Morgan, I'm sure, will be... Delighted isn't being ridden by the Duke of Albuquerque as he used to be in the 70s. You can get a chance to look back on the on YouTube videos of the Grand Nationals in the mid 70s. You'll see that there was a horse that ran for about four or five years on a truck called Nerio, which was owned by an eccentric man called the Duke of Albuquerque. And he used to ride it in the Grand National every year, putting up about two stone overweight. It was quite funny. Anyway, it's eight eight number three. And there's another one down at the back. Joala Secret Scarlet's gone. So Doug's horse is out. That'll be a disappointment for him because I know he's pretty keen on one or two of his national horses this season. It may be a blessing in disguise, though, because it qualifies for a four-mile run, doesn't it, if you fall? And you don't get with a load of weight. You're just going to get left where you are or want to... 10 or whatever it is, so maybe not quite such a bad thing. So Nerio is in the lead then, from presenting Jane in second. Right Stuff is third, and Miserat fourth, so they're almost running two by two, aren't they? In stable sort of formation at the moment, leading group. Over that one, you can see Run Free didn't jump it all that well, but Nerio leads from presenting Jane, the two John Morgan horses up the front. Then we've got the two serious chill ones, Right Stuff and Miserat. Trick Chuck Trev is next. In BRM as they take that big ditch. And over it they go. One or two slow jumps and run free towards the back from Leon Van Rensburg, who does well in these long distance races as well. Not that many fences to say it's four miles and three furlongs, just 23 of them. So, plenty of running on a flat to be done. And Nerio's in front. Presenting Jane is second, right stuff is third, Meserat is four. Then Prairie from the day, Tricks up Trev, BRM, Zell, Tupo. Then Black Sand Fading, Rustic Rain and Run Free. As they come down to number six. And a mistake there on the horse in the third right stuff. So Run Free skipping over at the back. And let your mind in the orange jacket was third in the national last year. So Nerio's in front then from presenting Jane in second. This of course is not a handicap, it's a level weight group three, so Come with you a bit of a problem if you win this. I won this a few years ago. A horse called Ettrick Mill who got himself a whopping great handicap mark, as I suppose you should expect to if you're going to win a group race. But unfortunately for me, he um, kept four of them pulling up after that. So that mark never went down. And that was um, the end of him, really. <laughs> oh, he's gone at the back there. Run free's gone. So crashing full there. So three out then already. And still a long, old way to go. And Nerio's in front. Presenting Jane is second. Right Stuff is third. Meserat is fourth. Then BRM, let your mind get in closer. Then Trick Shot Trev. Then Pray for Another Day. Black Sand Fading. Zell Stupo and Rustic Rain. As they get over that one. And the field are well strung out. John Morgan front runners. Setting a pretty stiff pace. Pretty difficult to tell apart as well, aren't they, those two? Come down to this ditch. And they're all over that one okay as well. Black Sun fading just a little bit slow at the back. But Nerio. Presenting Jane. Still show the way home. The right stuff is third. Meserat is fourth. Trick shot Trez move through into fifth. Let your mind on that one's outside then BRM. Pray for another day and Zell Stupo as they take the next. Uh, also, go with that one as well. So, the open on the hole has been pretty good. Apart from the three that have fallen, of course. Nerio. Presenting Jane Wasta for Mesra. Well strung out. Leading the field. At number 11. 
Try again at the back there, Black Sand fading. Would have a dive at it. Continues to be the back marker. And come down towards number 12. And that time it was presenting Jane that made the mistake. And Nerio is still in the lead then by about three or four to presenting Jane in second, who's two or three clear of right stuff. And then Meserat, then Trickshot Trev. BRM and let your mind run together. Pray for another day, just tucked in behind them. And then at the back, Zil Stupo and Rustic Rainer together with Black Sand fading now. A little bit detached. Right stuff made a mistake at that one. And has dropped back to fourth. And they're coming up past the winning post. Shubertly. Uh, There's a big trap. This one's only got one more circuit to go. Well, there's almost the best part of two miles still to race. Nerio in the lead, presenting Jane second. Gap back to Mizera and right stuff. Then let your mind trick shot Trev BRM. Pray for another day, Zell Stupo. Rustic Rain and then Black Sand fading just coming to it now. It's over it nicely. With the loose northern shore running round at the back. Running round for fun. So Nerio and presenting Jane. Let's put in the lead at this ditch. that one as well. A little change in the order really throughout this race. Looks like we might be playing jockey cam for a second. They get on the Zell Stupo. See took right in the pot behind BRM. If BRM was to fall or make a mistake then it would probably be the end of Zell Stupo's race as well. Switch to pro for the days. We're going to this next one. Trick shot Trev now. Everybody got over that okay. And Nerio and presenting Jane still disputing the lead. Meserat and Wright stuff still together, but now being joined by Trick shot Trev. In comes Let Your Mind, who's back in sixth. BRM and Rustic Rain. As they race away from us. Now towards the next pass, the ambulance, which is facing the right way. Still will be pleased about that. Nerio in front. He's presenting Jane on the outside. Six lengths back then to the serious chill pair and trick shot Trev. Right, coming to the 17th. And again, all over it safely. The order pretty much as it has been throughout the race. Nerio in front. Presenting Jane is second. Right stuff is third, Meserat is four, Trickshot Trev is five, Let Your Mind is six as they come down to the 18th. And again, all safely over it, the loose horse at the back has decided he's had enough and he's pulling up. And it's Nerio in front still by a length and a half. To presenting Jane is second, five lengths back to Trickshot Trev who's now making a forward move into third as they take that ditch. And then, oh, there's a couple of fallers gone there, Let Your Mind and... Rustic Rain have both gone. I don't know whether one happened or the other, but they've both gone. The same fence. So five out now. And Nerio. Presenting Jane suddenly with Trick Shot Trev right up behind them. Then Meserat and Right Stuff trying to run on. So Zell Stupo. Pray for another day and BRM as they come to the 20th. Oh, one pray for another day's gone this time. Crashing fall there. And goodness me, well, I expect to see this many fallers. In this race, these are seasoned campaigners over long distances and jumping, and you expected to have seen six of them on the deck. We haven't even had any pull-ups yet. And they come down to the 21st. That's the third from home. And the remainder are all over it safely. With Nerio, two lengths clear of presenting Jane in second. Trickshot Trevi's third. Gap back to Zell Stupo. Then Miserat. Then BRM. Right stuff now looks beaten. Black Sand fading is the back marker. Down towards the second last. And over it they go. And Nerio looks like he's going to try and make it every post a winning one. Zell Stupo is struggling on in fourth. But it's Nerio coming down towards the final couple of furlongs. And Nerio is in the lead. He's got one more fence to take. Trickshot Trevi's second. Presenting Jane is third. Nothing else can get anywhere near. It's Nerio in the lead. Nerio 
Nerio up towards the final fence, it stood off, it got away from it, but here comes Presenting Drain and Trip Shop Trev, Nerio's in front, they've got a furlong to go, Nerio by length, Trip Presenting Drain on the outside, Trip Shop Trev between the two, they race down towards the final half furlong length, Nerio and Presenting Drain going to try and give John Morgan a one-two, looks like they're going to as well, and up towards the line, Nerio takes it, no Duke of Albuquerque today, Nerio wins it, it's Presenting Jane that's going to be second, then Trick Shot Trev third, Zell Stupo fourth, then BRM was fifth, long, long way back then to Meserat and Right Stuff who finished virtually together and Black Sand fading got round in the end as well. So Nerio for John Morgan wins it, presenting Jane for John Morgan second, Trick Shot Trev for Paul Rhodes third, Zell Stupo down Thompson fourth and BRM for James Follis finished fifth.